I don't know. I like my hair. I think it works. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to mess it up. Because honestly, I think it looks better like this when I don't think about it. Do you remember when I used to wake up every morning and do my hair? My routine took longer than yours. And I don't think I ever really liked it all perfect like that. Because what's the point, you know? Why well, spend so much of my life on something that doesn't even matter? I get going to Mars or, or saving the planet. But hair? <laughs> Fuck. And you know, I don't even think I want to go to Mars. Because, what, spend 10 years of my life pining with anticipation just to get to a fucking boulder? I wouldn't even get to experience the first civilization. What's the point? God, sometimes I question why I spend so much time thinking about what I can do for others. I never even really look at my hair anyway. Hello, hi, my name is Jackson Marapulain and welcome back to a, another video for Alphabet Superset. This is uh, M for Mars. Um, and the monologue I wrote was based off the concept of the difficulty of getting to Mars and the impossibility of flying there. And it kind of became this sort of self-reflection for Bo, uh, the main character of like, why do anything for anybody? You know, um, because it's so hard to get to Mars, you wouldn't be doing it for yourself, you'd be doing it for humankind, right? And, and, and uh, I've been recently reading this book about my, from Michael Pollan, um, The Unrealized Omnivore's Dilemma, and he talks specifically about the difference between focusing on the individual when talking morality and focusing on like groups when talking morality. And I think Bo in this moment is very much, he is talking about why do anything for humankind? Um, because it's not me. He's isolating himself. And he's creating a position in himself in the play where then he feels a motivation to do something for himself. Um, it's a big shift from from thinking of in his mindset of like we are all humankind to then what about me? Um, three good things I think about the writing. Uh, one, one <laughs> was I enjoyed the kind of like it's almost like subconscious on surface for Bo. And you can kind of see that from the beginning, it's very short phrases that he's just kind of thinking to himself. Um, and it's almost like he's talking over a brick wall. And I like that kind of feeling. And it begins to, you know, pick up speed as a snowball and make the monologue. Um, two, uh, I liked kind of the simplicity of the idea of him not liking his hair. It feels like that kind of builds well and it kind of ends well because it's, it's not talking about hair, it's talking about something deeper. Um, but the simplicity of like, I don't like my hair, I think it's pretty relatable and it's pretty easy in the edge where you're like, oh, this guy's normal. No, he's not. Oh, he's normal. No, he's not, you know. Um, third thing I like about the writing. I think sometimes when uh, doing a monologue or choosing a monologue from a play, uh, you're, you're told to find a, a thing that starts with a thesis and ends with a thesis. Whereas I think this monologue subverts that idea and it starts with a benign idea of him not liking his hair. It ends with him not liking his hair. Uh, and the thesis is somewhere in the middle, uh, and specifically in the middle where it goes, um, you know, sometimes I wonder why I think so much about helping other people. And that's the thesis. And his Harris is like way into it. And I like that. I feel like I subverted it in a good way. One thing I want to change the next time doing this, I find I have a writing style. You know, I came to this after a couple of months, a couple of weeks off. And I find that I have a writing style of very of jagged uh, discoveries. And I'm wondering if I can kind of create, instead of any acting, more on the writing side, something that's more cohesive. Because something as jagged as my writing becomes difficult to act. And I want it to be, um, I think in my own writing and in my own logic, I have gaps that I create when explaining the thought process. And I think I'm doing that in my writing. And I wonder, I wonder if I can maybe fill those gaps in and make it a little bit more like, here's the story, and then cut it instead of, instead of cutting it in a way that doesn't make sense in the writing. Three good things about the acting. One, I started the acting from a position of like, this person's back is turned and I am just, I'm speaking because they have pissed me off and I need to get their attention. And I think that evoked um, kind of this like defiance in his like, I don't know about my life, but I'm feeling
healing myself. And that comes to his conclusion of like individual over over humankind, which I think is fascinating. Two, I like the start of like self-reflection of like, I, I like my hair, this and the other thing, this and the other thing. And then you can kind of see it become pointed about halfway through the monologue. I think that's great because it kind of has this like, I'm feeling all of these self feelings. This is me actually interpreting myself for the first time. And now this is why I haven't been was because of people like, and it becomes kind of, of people like you and it becomes this like attack that he has. And you can see that kind of anger underneath. Um, and three, that when I acted it, you can see that the, the beginning when he's like, I don't know, I, like, I don't like my hair. Or I don't know, I like my hair. To the end goes like, well, I never really look at my hair anyway. You can see the change. It's the same, it's the same concept of him like not really caring too much about his hair, but a shade different. You can see he's been transformed through the monologue and I think it was good acting. One bad thing about the acting. This is less of a product, more process, but it's, I struggled to get into this monologue and maybe you can see it in the, in the, in the product, but um, it took me a while to feel more comfortable and in my body with my behavior. Um, it could be memorization, it could be lots of things, but um, that was, I think, a problem that I can work on. It's just like getting more used to just jumping into something and being free and, and, and being okay to mess up a line, you know, which I think that is my, my general thing I need to work on always. Going forward, I am going to work on kind of like making a more fluid logic in my writing and focus on creating that subtext of the monologue like, that makes it interesting that makes it you know worth talking about hair you know why and and creating that connection with somebody because then that establishes a connection that establishes kind of comfortability um with the movement and behavior um so thank you so much for watching this is alphabet superset uh i am jackson Minard playing once again and i can't wait for you to come back and see the next video thank you so much for watching comment anything you have down below <laughs> and let's make that art Thank you.